Fiber, Wikipedia Audio Fiber or fiber is a natural or synthetic substance that is significantly longer than it is wide. Fibers are often used in the manufacture of other materials. The strongest engineering materials often incorporate fibers, for example carbon fiber and ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. Synthetic fibers can often be produced very cheaply and in large amounts compared to natural fibers, but for clothing natural fibers can give some benefits, such as comfort, over their synthetic counterparts. Natural fibers develop or occur in the fiber shape, and include those produced by plants, animals, and geological processes. They can be classified according to their origin. Natural Fibers Human-made or chemical fibers are fibers whose chemical composition, structure, and properties are significantly modified during the manufacturing process. Man-made fibers consist of regenerated fibers and synthetic fibers. Semi-synthetic fibers are made from raw materials with naturally long-chain polymer structure and are only modified and partially degraded by chemical processes, in contrast to completely synthetic fibers such as nylon or dacron, which the chemist synthesizes from low molecular weight compounds by polymerization reactions. The earliest semi-synthetic fiber is the cellulose-regenerated fiber, rayon. Most semi-synthetic fibers are cellulose-regenerated fibers. Vegetable fibers are generally based on arrangements of cellulose, often with lignin. Examples include cotton, hemp, jute, flax, rami, sisal, bagasse, and banana. Plant fibers are employed in the manufacture of paper and textile, and dietary fiber is an important component of human nutrition. Wood fiber, distinguished from vegetable fiber, is from tree sources. Forms include groundwood, lace bark, thermomechanical pulp, and bleached or unbleached craft or sulfite pulps. Craft and sulfite refer to the type of pulping process used to remove the lignin bonding the original wood structure, thus freeing the fibers for use in paper and engineered wood products such as fiberboard. Animal fibers consist largely of particular proteins. Instances are silkworm silk, spider silk, sinew, catgut, wool, sea silk, and hair such as cashmere wool, mohair and angora fur such as sheepskin, rabbit, mink, fox, beaver, etc. Mineral fibers include the asbestos group. Asbestos is the only naturally occurring long mineral fiber. Six minerals have been classified as asbestos including chrysotile of the serpentine class and those belonging to the amphibole class. Amosite, crocidolite, tremolite, anthophyllite, and actinolite. Short, fiber like minerals include wollastonite and palygroscite, biological fibers also known as fibrous proteins or protein filaments, consist largely of biologically relevant and biologically very important proteins. Mutations or other genetic defects can lead to severe diseases. Instances are collagen family of proteins, tendon, muscle proteins like actin, cell proteins like microtubules and many others, spider silk, sinew, and hair etc. Cellulose fibers are a subset of man-made fibers, regenerated from natural cellulose. The cellulose comes from various sources, rayon from treewood fiber, modal from beech trees, bamboo fiber from bamboo, sisal from seaweed, etc. In the production of these fibers, the cellulose is reduced to a fairly pure form as a viscous mass and formed into fibers by extrusion through spinnerets. Therefore, the manufacturing process leaves few characteristics distinctive of the natural source material in the finished products. Some examples of this fiber type are 
Historically, cellulose diacetate and triacetate were classified under the term rayon, but are now considered distinct materials. Synthetic come entirely from synthetic materials such as petrochemicals, unlike those man-made fibers derived from such natural substances as cellulose or protein. Fiber classification in reinforced plastics falls into two classes, short fibers, also known as discontinuous fibers, with a general aspect ratio between 20 and 60, and long fibers, also known as continuous fibers, the general aspect ratio is between 200 and 500. Rayon, bamboo fiber, lyocell, a brand of rayon, modal, using beech trees as input, diacetate fiber, triacetate fiber. Metallic fibers can be drawn from ductile metals such as copper, gold, or silver and extruded or deposited from more brittle ones, such as nickel, aluminum, or iron. See also stainless steel fibers. Carbon fibers are often based on oxidized and via pyrolysis carbonized polymers like PAN, but the end product is almost pure carbon. Human-made fibers Silicon carbide fibers, where the basic polymers are not hydrocarbons but polymers, where about 50% of the carbon atoms are replaced by silicon atoms, so-called polycarbosilanes. The pyrolysis yields an amorphous silicon carbide, including mostly other elements like oxygen, titanium, or aluminium, but with mechanical properties very similar to those of carbon fibers. Fiberglass, made from specific glass, and optical fiber, made from purified natural quartz, are also man-made fibers that come from natural raw materials, silica fiber, made from sodium silicate and basalt fiber made from melted basalt. Mineral fibers can be particularly strong because they are formed with a low number of surface defects, asbestos is a common one. Microfibers in textiles refer to subdenier fiber. Denier and dex are two measurements of fiber yield based on weight and length. If the fiber density is known, you also have a fiber diameter, otherwise it is simpler to measure diameters in micrometers. Microfibers in technical fibers refer to ultra-fine fibers often used in filtration. Newer fiber designs include extruding fiber that splits into multiple finer fibers. Most synthetic fibers are round in cross-section, but special designs can be hollow, oval, star-shaped or trilobal. The latter design provides more optically reflective properties. Synthetic textile fibers are often crimped to provide bulk in a woven, non-woven or knitted structure. Fiber surfaces can also be dull or bright. Dull surfaces reflect more light while bright tends to transmit light and make the fiber more transparent. Very short and slash or irregular fibers have been called fibrils. Natural cellulose, such as cotton or bleached craft, show smaller fibrils jutting out and away from the main fiber structure. Semi-synthetic fibers Cellulose regenerated fibers Synthetic fibers Metallic fibers Carbon fiber Silicon carbide fiber Fiberglass Mineral fibers Polymer fibers Microfibers